We just did a video with sharp key practice, and now we're going to do a video with flat key practice. So again, there are two types of questions you might see. The first type is when we have a clef and we have some flats, and our job is to say, what is this key signature? In other words, identification. The other one is when we have an actual key signature and we have to write in what the key signature would be. So um, just like we did for the sharps, we need to start off by making sure we know our order of flats. I'm gonna write it up here again for our reference. It's the same as the order of sharps, by the way, but it's in reverse. So instead of F, C, G, D, A, E, B, it's B, E, A, D, G, C, F. I'm gonna write that up here. B, E, a, D, G, C, F. A lot of people remember this by thinking the first part spells out bead and then greatest common factor. Okay, our first one, again, just a reminder that when there's no sharps or flats, that's C major. Just something we have to memorize. No trick for that one, but pretty simple. For everything else, we're looking at the second to last flat and we are calling that the name of the key. Pretty simple. So there are two flats, B flat and E flat, just like in our order of flats, B flat and E flat. We take the second to last flat, and since there are only two, here's the last one, here's the second to last one, B flat, that's our key, B flat major. Easy. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six flats, B, E, A, D, G, C, we're going to get our second to last flat, which is right over here, and that would be G flat. That's our key, G flat major. I even think the flat key identification is easier than sharp keys. Four flats, B, E, A, D. Our second to last flat is A flat. That's it. All right, here we're going to do it the other way around. This time we're given the key and we have to say, what would the key signature be? If the key, if the key rather that we're looking for is D flat major, then we want D flat to be our second to last flat. So in other words, we're going to continue to write until there's one more than D flat. So B, E, A, D, G, we should have five flats total. Here we go, B, E, A, D, G. And remember in flat keys, they just go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Pretty simple. That's D flat major because now our second to last flat is D flat. Here's the exception in flats. F major, this one we just have, just have to memorize because in F major, there's only one flat. So you can't use the trick where you say the second to last flat. There is no second to last flat in F major. We just memorize it. Same way we memorize C major. Other than that, though, everything else should work. C flat major, this one's always a little confusing to some people because here's C. Where is C flat? Well, there's no black key next to C, so C flat is the enharmonic equivalent of B. Now, you might remember that there's a B major in the sharp keys. So why would you use C flat major? Well, you will find sometimes, occasionally a composer will choose to call something C flat major instead of B, but yes, on a piano, they would sound exactly the same. All right, C flat major, that means C flat has to be your second to last flat. And if that were true, then we have to use all of the flats because that's the second to last flat in the entire order of flats. So here we go, B down here, now I'm on the bass clef. B, E, A, D, G, C flat, that has to be my second to last, and I'm going to end with F. And last one, E flat major. Here's E flat in my order of flats. One, two, and I want to go one past it. Three, so it's my second to last. Three flats total. B flat, E flat, A flat. That's it, that's every flat key signature. If you found that video helpful, please click the subscribe button below to find more videos just like it.